Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're in Chicago, Illinois. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Kevin Hodges, who is a leading minimally invasive surgeon with a specialty in robotic mitral valve repair at the Northwestern Medicine Bloom Cardiovascular Institute. Dr. Hodges, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me today. Very happy to be here. Yeah, so we're gonna answer a patient question that just came in right in your specialty from Bethany. And she asks, after a robot assisted mitral valve surgery starts, can excessive bleeding cause the robotic surgery to be aborted and a sternotomy approach be implemented instead? Thanks, Adam. This is a great question. It's something we talk about uh, every single time we see a patient in the clinic. And the answer is that that scenario is extremely uncommon. We tell patients it's a less than 1% chance of changing from a robotic approach to a sternotomy or a conventional approach. But the reality is that our priorities are to, number one, get a really good mitral valve repair that's gonna last the patient for the rest of their life, and number two, to do that safely and have them leave the hospital without any important complications. So if a scenario were to arise during surgery, for instance, bleeding that we couldn't control with a robotic approach, we would change to a conventional approach or sternotomy if that's what it took to keep the patient safe. Great, well, Bethany, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. Hodges on behalf of the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world. Thanks to you and your team for all the great work you're doing here at Northwestern Medicine. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks a lot. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.